vocabulary. Let's talk about vocabulary. See, everybody have a vocabulary. If it's up or down, that is your choice. See, the world will teach you to have a low vocabulary, meaning you will believe what it say. You won't research. You will just go along with everybody else. The dumbing down programming. The program to make you dumber. dumber, dumber. See, it goes like this. You have a group of people. Wherever they go in the world, they, I'm American. I'm American. America is a continent. So when a person say, oh, I'm American. Okay, are you from North or South? You see what I'm saying? You just claiming two continents. Therefore, your vocabulary is not too bright. Now, if you watch the Olympic Games, in the Olympic Games, they um they represent a country. America is not a country. It is a continent. Now, we all went to school. We all learned this. We all should have. But if you're going along with the program, following, being a follower, meaning you're not a leader, meaning you're just going to follow whatever program that's out there to make you feel better, to fit in. I don't fit in. If it's dumb, it's dumb. And I'm not trying to be there. If it need correction, I'm going to correct it. Because that's what we all are supposed to do. To uplift one another. Not to let a person think they dumb. But a lot of people don't like correction. The moment you tell them something. Oh, you're not my daddy. Oh, you can't tell me what to do. Uh, you're not a teacher. We all teachers if we're teaching something. Country, continent, two different things. A person from Brazil can say they American. A person in Canada can say they American. A person in Mexico can say they American. And on the money, it says United States of America. Get your vocabulary up. Don't be no follower. Be a leader. If it's wrong, make it right. Correct it. Because if you don't, you are part of the problem. And the world system is, is a problem. Is a problem. Is a problem. Is a problem. People, oh, you use a cuss word. Look the word cuss up in a dictionary. And you will see there is no such thing as a cuss word. The words you think are cuss words. Why don't you look them up and learn the meaning, the definition of the word? And you will find out there is no such thing as a cuss word. Let's look at history. In proper English, the word is curse. In slang talk, the word is cuss. C-U-S-S. -S. Look it up and you will see what it means. When you curse someone or cuss someone, I'm going to cuss you out. All you're doing is wishing evil on somebody. You hope for the bad to happen to a person. That's the definition to the word. Look it up, build up your vocabulary, and you will find out there is a lot, a lot of dumbness going on out here. And you may say, well, dumbness, not a word. Well, look it up and find out if it is or if it ain't.
vocabulary. Build up your vocabulary. It was years ago. I'd say about 2015. I'm out hanging. I'm like, hey, we need to build up our vocabulary. Read the dictionary. You know, we can even open up the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to need it later. Now, nah, didn't nobody do that with me. But on my Facebook page, I download it. Well, I post the word of the day from the dictionary app because I started reading the dictionary. I started learning what certain words mean, especially the common word people use every day. You know, look, just look the words up. You'll see what they mean. Then you will know how to correctly put them in a sentence. It will either edify someone for the better or you also can deceive people. That's the power of the tongue. And with a good vocabulary, you can do either. Because most people do not, and I mean most people do not look up certain things that they should. Most people out here nowadays, they will search garbage. And I mean this. They will search garbage. They mind is leading them to garbage and more garbage and things that are unpleasing to the most high. So they for self. They rather go and be an enemy to the creator than to build up their vocabulary, search knowledge, things that will get them in the gate where they want to be. Right now, they may not even know it. But when everything is uncovered and everything is seen for what it is, there will be a lot of people that's in shame. And if you feel that way right now, while there is still time, turn to the Most High. Turn to the Creator. Learn His way. In a good start, we all see the world be the opposite of it. If it glorify certain things, you know that you should do the opposite. If it glorify ribs, you know not to do it. Because swine we are not to eat. It's unclean. I know a lot of you don't say, I ain't doing that. Well, hey, that's on you. But if you read the dietary from the most high, what's good for us and what's not good for us, you will understand. Everything the world glorified, you got your lobster tails and your strength. The reason why the sea, the ocean, the lake, and all of that is so dirty is because the creatures that is supposed to keep it clean, the bottom feeders, the uh, garbage eaters, the ones that help keep that clean, man is taking it out of the ocean and glorifying it, making you think that you got a dish on a platter when truthfully the world is serving you garbage. Don't get mad at me. I'm just sharing the information. And that's all I'm ever going to do is share information to help you get in the gate. Build up your vocabulary because the world is vanity. And as we continue on this journey, the truth is going to unfold. And it's only two things you're going to do. You're going to learn and do better or you're going to laugh and joke and stay dumb. The choice is yours.